Okay, now we are going to learn how to deal with maps in IELTS listening. Those who are afraid of maps, those who are confused about maps, this is a great opportunity for you. There are two important types of language or languages that you need to learn for maps. Number one, language of directions. Go straight ahead, take first right turn, take second right, right? So this is the language of direction. Second, preposition of location. Preposition of location like in front of, behind, next to, adjacent to, across the road. Across the road means the other side of the road. Across the road, across the bank, in front of the library, behind the library, next to the library, close to the library. Then go past the library. Go past the library means cross the library. Go past the stairs means cross the stairs. Go past. P-A-S-T. So whenever you do maps in IELTS listening part 2, you may come across maps. So whenever you do uh, maps, you need to make a list of these phrases, language for directions and prepositions. Okay, now. When they give you half minute to look at questions 11 to 16, my advice is do not read the questions because questions are nothing but only the names of places. 11, cafe. 12, toilets. 13, formal gardens. Do you understand anything? No. So you need to spend half minute observing the map, number one. Number two, what is given in the map? And if they give you directions like east, west, north, south, you need to write it down on the map. For example, you guys have this map. And can you see on the right corner, right top, uh, they've written north, south, west, east. So on the left side, I want you to write capital W. So that when they say it's on the west side, then you immediately reach there. On top of the map, I want you to write capital N. Capital N means north. north, not nose, north. Yeah. On the right side, write capital E. Capital E means east. And at the bottom, you should write S, south. Now, can you see there are two gates? So they are going to take you in from either gate. Uh, it can be south gate or north gate. Then can you see lake, old museum? If they say it's next to the old museum, answer is D. If they say from south gate, when you enter, right after that, turn left. And then go along to that path and then again turn left, answer will be A. A absolutely. And if you say, if they say anything about glass houses, and if they say it's hidden in the trees in front of glass houses, option H. Because H is hidden in the trees. Right? And if they say from south gate, go straight ahead until you reach the bend. That is e. bend. Option E will be there. Okay? And if they say, well, it's, uh, it's on the east side of adventure playground, what will be the answer? C. C. If they say it's on the west side of adventure playground, answer is B. So east, west, bend, this and that, these things will help you. So uh, you can observe the map and when they start, when they say, now listen to the audio and answer questions 11, this finger will go on question number 11, cafe. And this hand is going to move with the audio. If they say, if you enter from the south gate, pencil will enter from the south gate. Immediately turn left, turn left and go along to that path, anything like that. Just reach there. Sometimes they will take you like this. Sometimes if they say, in order to reach the cafe, you need to go to the lake, which is almost in the middle. So you reach the lake immediately. Okay. Now let's see. Question number 11. As chair of the town council subcommittee on park facilities, I'd like to bring you up to date on some of the changes that have been made recently to the Croft Valley Park. So if you could just take a look at the map I handed out, let's begin with a general overview. So the basic arrangement of the park hasn't changed. It still has two gates, north and south, and a lake in the middle. 
The cafe continues to serve an assortment of drinks and snacks, and is still in the same place, looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. Only one option. That is option D. Looking out over the lake means you can see the lake from there and next to old museum. So there is only one option. Answer D. Very good. And uh, by the way, one option will be used once only. Okay. Now it is not possible that cafe is also toilet. <laughs> okay. So it's different. Question number twelve. Toilets. Very important. Let's see. Where are they? We're hoping to change the location of the toilets and bring them nearer to the centre of the park. As they're a bit out of the way at present, near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map. Near the adventure playground, in the corner of your map. Now, what are the words? Near, in the corner. So these words will always help you. Near the adventure playground, you jump to adventure playground. In the corner of your map, that is option C. Understand? So for maps, they always use this type of language. And after solving four or five questions, you will be comfortable because they always repeat the same language. Okay, let's go on. Question number thirteen: Formal gardens. Let's see where they are. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum, but we've now used the space near the south gate. Between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. G between the path and the boundary. Now this square is the boundary of it. Okay, so path is going on, and then there is G. Please listen to this one again. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be, but they used to be. Now it is not where they are. They used to be behind the old museum, but now we have not no location there. Sometimes they may write behind old museum. They may write A, B, C, D, anything to confuse you. So you should be careful. They used to be. Whenever there is a map, maps are of present time in IELTS listening part two. So whenever they give you a map, you need to focus the present tense, not the past tense. Behind the old museum. But we've now used the space near the south gate. Now use the space near the south gate. Now there are two answers. One is G and one is H. Right? So, and the path that is near the south gate, between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake. Okay, between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake. Goes past the lake means along with the lake. So there is only one path that is going past the lake and between the park boundary and option G is the right answer. Park boundary and the path that goes past the lake. Past the lake means करीब से गुजरना, पास से गुजरना, like that. Okay. All right. So for thirteen, answer is G. Question number fourteen. We have a new outdoor. Okay, let's see what is the answer. Question number fourteen. Houses just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it as it's a bit hit. Ah,、uh, just a second. I play this one again from the beginning. Okay, Jack. Bef- We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children, which is already proving very popular. It's. By the glass houses, just to the right of the path from the south gate, you have to look for it, as it's a bit hidden in the trees. H. Otherwise, it could be F. I mean F as well. So they always give two options, and they see whether you understand. She said it's a bit hidden in the trees. Uh, glass houses they used when they said glass houses. You came to glass houses, and then you realized answer can be either F or H. But when she said, "As it's a bit hidden in the trees," so it's understood. Option H is the right answer. Question number fifteen: Skateboard ramp. One very successful introduction 
has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. All right, a little path between the lake and the museum, right? And then she said old museum. So option A. A. See, if your pencil is moving along with the audio, you will always find the answer. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path. Okay, near the old museum, near. End of little path, and you understand that. That leads off from the main path. That leads off. Now you need to understand this language. Why am I playing it again to focus the language? That leads off from the main path, right? And the museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. Between the lake and the museum, there is a path, and that's leading off. Question number 16, wild flowers. If you want to pluck some flowers for someone, so they have some wild flowers. We've also introduced a new area for wild flowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake, okay. just south of the advent. All right, east side of the lake, bend. And then south of Adventure Park. South of Adventure Park, east side of the lake, and bend is important. Bend is actually more. So E is the right answer. Is this clear? And again, I'm telling you, they're going to repeat such type of words in maps. In maps, they only check your ability that you're going to live in an English-speaking country. So if you are lost sometimes and someone gives you directions, you should be able to understand. Otherwise, that Angrez will say, come, I take you there. <laughs> okay? So, it's just for that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now, we are going to learn how to deal with double multiple choice questions. One type is single. We will do them as well. One type is double multiple choice questions. What is double? Out of five, you have to select two options. Okay? Now, why do they give you extra options? Yeah, to check your ability that can you differentiate right information from wrong information or not out of five options. And for the most part, they discuss all five options. And the real problem is they don't discuss the options in order. Questions are in order, but within the questions, options are not in order. If they only have these options like A, B, C, D, Multiple choice questions would never be difficult. They would be very, very easy for all the candidates. We never know. They can start from option D, then they can come to option A, then they go to option B and all that, okay? So the first thing is in double multiple choice questions, when they give you time to read the questions, read the options and the main question. When the audio is going on, the first thing is you need to try to pick up the option which is being discussed. Whether it is A, B, C, D, E, F, whatever, uh, e, until E we've got all these options. Once you pick up the option, after listening to that part of the audio, you have to decide whether this answer is right or wrong. If it, and I will tell you how to, how to identify whether the answer is right or how do they speak about wrong answers. I will speak about that as well. If the answer is right, at the end of that, you can tick. If, the, if that option is wrong, you can put a cross at the end. Sometimes through elimination, elimination means wrong option out. Through elimination, you can reach the right answer. For example, out of five options, you successfully eliminated three options. You heard them, you listened to them very carefully and you realized these three options can never be the answer. So in that case, remaining options will be the right answer. Now, how to identify? Let's see. Questions 17 and 18. What does the speaker say, underline speaker say, about the adventure playground? Now, speaker is going to talk about all five things. 
three things are not going to match with the options. Speaker is going to speak negatively or oppositely about three options. I tell you how negatively and how oppositely. For example, option A, children must be supervised. If they say you can leave your children there because we have our custodians to take care of your children. Will that be the right answer? No, because they say children must be supervised. Right, but when they have their custodians, children must not be supervised by parents. So, if they say you need to keep an eye on your parent, uh, on your children, if you come to this place, you need to keep an eye, make sure you are sitting by your children, make sure you observe your children, then A is the right answer. Option B it costs more in winter. If they say in winter, we charge two pounds extra. Or because of hot water, in winter we charge five pounds extra. And if they say it's even cheaper in winter. Now cheaper in winter is the opposite of it costs more in winter. That is why B will not be the right answer. Do you understand? When I said they speak oppositely, they speak negatively. So in multiple choice, whenever you select the answer, your answer is based on your listening and your observation and understanding. Now, sometimes they successfully cheat you and you write the wrong answer. But if you understand English, then most definitely you will pick up the right answer. Option C, some activities are only for younger children. What is the opposite of that? Say we provide a range of activities for the children of any age. Or we provide a range of activities regardless of any special age group. Do you understand? And if they say uh, there are few activities which are only for five year old. So then this can be the right answer. Option D. No payment is required. Very simple. There is something which is free. Right? No payment is required. Now they are talking about adventure playground. So if they say, well, let me tell you, this adventure playground used to be free, but now we charge one pound for entry. Will this be the answer? No. Okay. Let's go on. It was recently expanded. Now, if it was expanded recently, this is the right answer. If it will be expanded in the future, then this is the wrong answer so sometimes they change the tense sometimes they change the idea sometimes they use opposite they use negative and all that now i play the audio listen catch the option and then decide and in actual exam you will have only 30 seconds for all four questions right let's see now let me tell you a bit more about some of the changes to croft valley park one of our most exciting developments has been the Adventure Playground. We were aware that we had nowhere for children to let off steam and decided to use our available funds to set up a completely new facility in a large space to the north of the park. It's open year-round, though it closes early in the winter months and entrance is completely free. Children can choose whatever activities they want to do, irrespective of their age. But we do ask adults not to leave them on their own there. There are plenty of seats where parents can relax and keep an eye on their children at the same time. A and Excellent. Very good. A and D. A for apple. Children must be supervised okay and d no payment is required now please write down a code and the code is b d c a and option e was not even discussed so sometimes they leave out one option as well okay uh, this is the arrangement of these options B for boy, D for doctor, C for cat, A for apple. Let's just listen to it again. Now, let me tell you a bit. And decided to use our available funds to set up a completely new facility. Now, by the way, audio has been played for around 30 seconds and answer didn't come. So you have to wait patiently. 
right sometimes audio will go on and at the end they will have the answers sometimes one answer then ba 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 another answer then more ba 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 and all that so in a large space to the north of the park it's open year round though it closes early in the the winter month okay it opens year round it closes early in winter months now those who do not know english they will say winter b good winter yeah winter 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 okay so those i mean this is what they check that you understand sentences or you understand words right they said it closes early in winter cost more no closes early in winter so b should be crossed or eliminated now please come to option d d for doctor and entrance is completely free and entrance is completely free no payment is required entrance is completely free first correct answer is d now after d please go on to option c children can choose whatever activities they want to do irrespective of their age irrespective of their age now what do they say some activities are only for young children no irrespective of their age means whatever age group is we don't mind irrespective of their age is the opposite of only for younger children got it okay now please come to option a but we do ask adults not to leave them on their own there not to leave them on their own them means children not not to leave them on their own there are plenty of seats where parents can relax and keep an eye on their children at the same time parents can relax and keep an eye on their children at the same time and that is option a and it was recently expanded they didn't even discuss got it okay let's go on questions 19 and 20 double multiple choice what does the speaker say about the no. now whatever speakers and again the same thing opposite negative this and that underline glass house now just imagine there is a glass house option a they are closed at weekends and if they say glass houses are open 7 days a week will a be the answer no, no. but if they say i'm sorry to tell you glass houses are closed on saturdays and sundays then this is the right answer option b volunteers are needed to work there they need volunteers like if you want to work there for free they will welcome you and if they say we don't need volunteers already we've got good staff or we don't need any voluntary help from you something like that volunteers are need volunteer means razakar who is working for free for example one day you go to the garden and you see the garden is not clean there are plastic bags and you start collecting those plastic bags and you throw them in the dustbin it means you are a volunteer when your people are like you know volunteers they clean the beach sometimes they clean the park and all that option c they were badly damaged by fire what do they mean by they glass houses unless you know this thing you will miss these options so if glass houses were damaged by fire C is the right answer and if there was a fire but thank goodness there was no damage to glass houses then this is not the right answer got it yeah you must be thinking why do they make it so complicated whereas our english is so simple <laughs> don't worry option d more money is needed to repair some of the glass and if they say we are well within the budget or if they say we already have funds or we already have good amount to get it done so do they need more money no, no right so more money is needed and if they say we are lacking funds to repair some of the glass houses and we are looking for some help so then this can be the right answer option e visitors can see palm trees underline palm trees from tropical regions and if they say there used to be palm trees but actually after the fire incident now we don't have any palm trees they are gone will this be the answer no so if visitors can see palm trees this is the answer if palm trees were there or if they say we are planning to plant some palm trees in the next year will this be the answer no so this is the check out of five options can you select two right options or not 
So this is what we call double multiple choice. Let's start. Lastly, the glass houses. A huge amount of work has been done on them to repair the damage following the disastrous fire that recently destroyed their western side. Over eighty thousand pounds was spent on replacing the glass walls and the metal supports, as well as the plants that had been destroyed. Although, unfortunately, the collection of tropical palm trees has proved too expensive to replace up to now. At present, the glass houses are open from ten a.m. to three p.m. Mondays to Thursdays, and it's hoped to extend this to the weekends soon. We're grateful to all those who helped us by contributing their time and money to this achievement. All right. Correct answer is A. No. D. Yeah. And C. Okay. Well, now listen carefully. The right answer is option A. They are closed at weekends. The second right answer is C. They were badly damaged by fire. Now, please listen to it once again. Lastly, the glass houses. A huge amount of work has been done on them to repair the damage following the disastrous fire that. Okay, a huge amount of money has been spent on them, damaged by fire. So that is option A. They were badly damaged by fire. Option C. Just listen to this part again. On them to repair the damage following the disastrous fire that. To repair the damage followed by disastrous fire, so they were badly damaged, followed by disastrous fire. Disastrous fire means that damaged them very badly. First correct answer is C. Recently destroyed their western side. Over eighty thousand pounds was spent on replacing the glass walls. And Over eighty thousand pounds was spent replacing the glass walls. Did they say more money is needed? No. They said over eighty thousand spent. They spent it already. So this does not mean D is the right answer. Okay. The metal supports, as well as the plants that had been destroyed, although unfortunately the collection of tropical palm trees has proved too expensive to. The collection of tropical palm trees have uh, has proved very expensive. So visitors can see palm trees. No, that is very expensive for them. They cannot afford it. So this is option uh, question number uh, option number four, I think, or three. This is three. Yeah. Now let's go on to option A. Oh gosh, lost the audio. <coughs> Lastly, the walls and the metal supports, as well as the plants that had been destroyed. Although, unfortunately, the collection of tropical palm trees. Has proved too expensive to replace up to now. At present, the glass houses are open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays. At present, Mondays to. So, does that include weekend? No. They are. Listen, they don't include weekend, but that means they are closed at weekend. Monday to Thursday means they are closed at. Weekend, so that is the second correct answer. Okay, they are closed at weekend. And finally, option B. Now listen to option B. Uh, well, it depends. Sometimes we can we can start from Friday night, Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday. Okay, all right. Now listen on, please. Option B. Volunteers. And it's hoped to extend this to the weekend soon. It's hoped to extend it to the weekend soon. So at the moment, they're not offering. Yeah. We're grateful to all those who helped us by contributing their time and money to this okay, achievement. Okay, we are thankful to all those who helped us. Volunteers are needed. She is only thanking volunteers. That's it. Okay. All right. So unless your English comes to this level. Multiple choice questions. You will be guessing, and you will just pick up the words. Once you pick up the words and write the answer, that is very dangerous. Unless you pick up the sentences and ideas, right?
Okay guys, now I'm going to tell you how to deal with double multiple choice questions and these questions may appear in any part of your IELTS test. Uh, in Cambridge Official Guide to IELTS, they have double multiple choice questions in part 4. In normal IELTS books, uh, double multiple choice questions where out of 5 you have to select 2 options, they appear in part 2 and part 3. So any type of question may appear anywhere, don't be afraid method is same to deal with them. What is a double multiple choice question? There will be five options. Out of five options, you have to choose two correct options. They will give you some mixed information. Three options will be wrong. Two options will be correct. And the purpose is to see your ability to differentiate the right option from the wrong ones. Okay, that's how they do it. So let's see how to do this. Section two, questions 11 and 12. Choose two letters A to E. Now A to E, how many options? Five. And how many letters you have to choose? Two. two letters. And they are two questions. By the way, if you choose one right, one wrong option, you will get one mark. Okay, if you choose both wrong options, you will get no mark for that, right? So let's take our start. Which two activities, underline two activities, that volunteers do, underline volunteers do, are mentioned? Got it? Two activities, volunteers do and they are mentioned. It means out of five activities, three activities volunteers do not do and that is not your answer. But two activities volunteers do and that will be your answer. The best way to deal with multiple choice questions is the first thing is you need to identify the option which is being discussed. They have given five options. The audio is in question order. But within the questions, the audio is not in order for A, B, C, D, E. I mean, don't expect first they will speak about A, then B, then C. They might start from option E, then they come to option A, then they go to option C. So they are going to talk about these options in random order. The first thing is you need to catch the option which is discussed. Once you caught the option which is being discussed, then you need to listen and decide is that option the right one? Or is it only the wrong one? If it is wrong one, eliminate the wrong choices. In multiple choice, you will be highly successful if you eliminate the wrong choices. What we do, we are looking for right answer. In the conquest of looking for right answer, we choose the wrong answer because they speak very cunningly about, about other two options. So you should learn. I mean, you have a problem with multiple choice questions, right? So you should just learn how to eliminate the wrong choice from the right one. Now, let's see. Two activities volunteers do are mentioned. A, decorating. For decorating, they might use the word painting the walls coloring the walls, putting the wallpaper, or anything like that. For cleaning, they can use sweeping, dusting, washing, and all that. Option C, delivering meals. For delivering meals, they can use the word giving away meals, or providing meals, or distributing meals, and all that. Shopping, they can use any other word, and child care. Now again, focus the question. Two activities volunteers do, which are? mentioned okay i play the audio listen carefully and answer questions 11 and 12. good morning my name's lucy crittenden and i'm the director of operations for an organization that arranges volunteering in this part of the country i'm hoping i can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week, while a few do much more. The people they help may have physical or behavioural difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things, depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking or recommend how to plan their budget or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering, perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting so that parents can go out for a while. <laughs> 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 
A and B. It's B and C. No, it's C and D. A and D. All right, all right, all right. Now listen, the correct answers are option A and option E. I tell you, don't worry, I'm going to play the audio again. Okay, uh, listen, delivering meals, they say tips on cooking. Now tips on cooking doesn't mean delivering meal. And for shopping, they said budgeting means they need to budget, not actually shopping. So the correct answer is decorating. For that, they use the word painting and all that. And for child care, babysitting. You know babysitting? Yeah, something like that. It's called babysitting, okay? So sometimes you... Now, this babysitting is for the small babies, not the big ones, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go on. Please listen. Good morning. My name's Lucy Crittenden, and I'm the Director of Operations for an organization that arranges volunteering in... First 45 seconds, there wasn't any answer. See, the audio went on and on and on and on. So you have to wait patiently. Right, don't just do that. Why am I not writing the answer and you select something wrong? Yeah. This part of the country. I'm hoping I can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves. Let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering. Volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week while a few do much more. The people they help may have physical or behavioural difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things. Now you have to listen carefully. Volunteers can do all sorts of things, OK? Now, what are they? Depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking. They may be able to give them tips on cooking. So from here, you need to cross option C because it's only about cooking. It's not about delivering meals, okay? Kisi ko omelette bana ke bhejna aur ye batana omelette kaise banta hai. Both are two different things, okay? Yeah. Now, let's go on. Please come to option D. Now they will discuss option D. Recommend how to plan their budget or how to shop sensibly on... How to shop sensibly. Now, taking someone to shopping and how to shop sensibly, these are two, two different things. So, D is also not the right answer. Okay, now when you eliminate C, D, now you're left with three options. And out of three, two are correct. Elimination is the best way. So, let's see what do they do now. Please come to option A. Their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering. They might do some painting and wallpapering. That is decorating. So, the first correct answer is... A. Okay. ...of the family who were able to do it, budget, or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering, perhaps alongside any members of the family who were able to do it. Or even do some babysitting. They or even do some babysitting. Babysitting is child care. So the correct answers are AE. On your answer sheet, you can write them in any order. Question number 11A, question number 12E. Or question number 11E, 12A, both ways it's fine. Right? Now, let's go on. We have another one. 13 and 14. Choose two letters A to E. Which two ways that volunteers can benefit from volunteering are mentioned? Underline two ways. Then underline volunteers can benefit from volunteering. And they have mentioned those two ways. Like what are those two ways that volunteers can get benefit from volunteering? Right? In other words, volunteer is someone who, uh, like for example, you say Razakar. Okay? Yeah. Okay, option A, learning how to be part of a team. So, part of a team. Just underline part of a team. Teamwork, team building, and all that. Option B, having a sense of purpose. Underline sense of purpose. Now, volunteers, they get the sense of purpose. This is how they benefit themselves. Option C, realizing how lucky they are. Underline how lucky they are. If they do volunteer work, they learn that they are so lucky or they realize that they are so lucky. Option D, improved ability at time management, underline time management. 
So if volunteers improve their time management skill by doing some volunteer work, then this is the right answer. Option E, boosting their employment prospects. Employment prospects means more job opportunities for them. And for employment prospects, they might use the word on their CV, right? They can have more opportunities for job and all that. So two ways that volunteers can benefit from volunteering. Keep that in mind. Two ways volunteers will get benefit. If I'm a volunteer, I'll get benefit. Okay, so let's see. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV when they're applying for jobs. Employers usually look favourably on someone who's given up time to help others. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in their lives. And in my opinion, they're lucky in that respect, as many people don't have that feeling. Lucky. Ah, C and? All right, all right. Okay, that's good. So I announced the correct answers. The first correct answer is option B for boy. The second correct answer is option E for elephant. Now, they talked about lucky, right? And by the way, option A was not even discussed. There may be some options which will not be even discussed. So option A was not discussed. I'm playing this audio once again. Please listen. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV. When volunteering can be a valuable element on their CV when... And they're applying for jobs. When they're applying for jobs. So boosting their employment prospects. That is the first correct answer. E. Now, they are going to talk about this time management. ...on someone who's given V when they're applying for jobs. Employers usually look favorably on someone who's given up time to help others. Who has given up time to help others. It doesn't relate to time management. Who's given up time means who has spared some time to help other people. So it's not about time management. Okay, time management is something else. You can cross option D. Now please come to option B. B for boy. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in their lives. Okay, volunteers feel that it gives them a purpose in their life. That is sense of purpose option b that is correct answer now they are going to discuss how lucky so when they have a sense of purpose in their life then they are lucky to have that and in my opinion they're lucky in that respect they are lucky in that respect and what is that respect sense of purpose okay this is how they talk and option a was not even discussed all right let's go on we go on Questions 15 to 20. Uh, this is what we call matching, right? You know, when you were at school, you used to match your teachers, one teacher with another one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? We used to do a lot, yeah. Evil is sir or overly madam. <laughs> That's called matching. So we have the same matching here. All right, yeah, and ladies do the matching, like color matching and all that, so we have matching here. Now, please come to questions 15 to 20. I tell you the easiest way to deal with them. Can you see questions 15 to 20? What are they? Names. They are the names of volunteers. Do we have any information in the names? No. Not at all. So whenever you get matching type of questions, sometimes information is in the questions, sometimes information is in the options. So wherever there is the information, you just have to read that part, not the questions all the time. Now over here, if you read questions, Habib, Consuela, Min, Tania, you know Tania? You don't know Tania? All right, I don't know Tanya as well, okay, don't worry. So, you don't need to read the names. Now, please come to the options. What volunteers helped, have helped people to do means activities of 
volunteers. Please come to option A. Overcome physical difficulties. Physical difficulties means to help someone walk, to help someone stand up. Physical difficulty, right? To help someone with something physical, like he helped someone to walk, to stand up and all that. Option B, rediscover skills not used for a long time, which he used to do when he was a child and now he learned it again. Right? For example, she used to play piano in her childhood and now she is doing it after a long time. That is, rediscover skills not used for a long time. Option C, improve their communication skills. Very simple. For communication skills, they might talk about communication, presentation, conversation, speech, debate, anything like that. Option D, solve problems independently. For independently, they can use the word on their own. Resolve their issues on their own. They can use that language. Never expect same wording and same thing. They always paraphrase it. Option E, escape isolation. Escaping isolation means to give them the company. Like somebody was living all alone and you took them to their friends to, uh, what do you say, eliminate their isolation or loneliness. It's that. Option F, remember pastimes. So some activity for remember pastimes, they can say back to their young age, back to their school life, back to their college life. That means remember pastime and start a new hobby. In that, they will talk about a hobby, right? She taught her to do it and now she's very happy to do this time and again, taught a new hobby. Now, Question number 15, Habib. And they will talk about all these questions in sequence. Your left hand should be on question. The right hand that is holding the pencil should move around the options. Okay. Now let's see what is it that Habib did. Now I'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people. Habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia. Once a week, they, along with other elderly people, go to the local community centre where a group of people come in and sing. The songs take the listeners back to their youth and for a little while they can forget the difficulties that they face now. The songs take the listeners back to their youth. And what is that? Remember past times. Okay, so this language you need to understand and this understanding you have to develop. Option F is the right one. I play again for some of you. Now I'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people. Habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia. Once a week, they, along with other elderly people, go to the local community centre where a group of people come in and sing. The songs take the listeners back to their youth and for a little while they can forget the difficulties that okay. they face now. Question number 16, Consuela. It's a name. Our volunteer Consuela is an amazing woman. She has difficulty walking herself, but she doesn't let that stop her. She helps a couple of people with similar difficulties, who had almost stopped walking altogether. By using herself as an example, Consuela encourages them to walk more and more. Walk, walking difficulty and all that. So option A, overcome physical difficulties. Okay, now you understand how they link all these things. Uh, okay, question number 17, Min. You know Min? Manna. Yeah. <laughs> Min visits a young man who lives alone and can't leave his home on his own, so he hardly ever saw anyone. But together they go out to the cinema or to see friends the young man hadn't been able to visit for a long time. Lives alone. Okay. Yeah, listen. Who lives alone and he hardly sees anyone? That is option E, escape isolation. Please listen to it again. Min visits a young man who lives alone and can't leave his home on his own. Who lives alone and can't leave his home. That is option E, escape isolation. So he takes him to his friends. So he hardly ever saw anyone. 
but together they go out to the cinema or to see friends the young man hadn't been able to visit for a long time. Okay, all right. Let's go on. Question number eighteen, Tanya. Tanya visits an elderly woman once a week. When the woman found out that Tanya is a professional dressmaker, she got interested. Tanya showed her some soft toys she'd made, and the woman decided to try it herself. And now she really enjoys it and spends hours making toys. They're not perhaps up、Good. to Tanya's standard yet, but she gains a lot of pleasure from doing it. Option G. Start a new hobby, making toys, dressmaker, and all that. You understand now? They did not choose the word hobby. They talked about that hobby, and now she makes and she enjoys and all that. So this language must be mastered. Let's go on, Alexi. Question number nineteen. Alexi is a volunteer with a family that faces a number of difficulties. By calmly talking over possible solutions with family members, he's helping them to realise that they aren't helpless. And that they can do something themselves to improve their situation.、Okay. This has been great、Please、for their self-esteem. Speak your answers when audio stops because some are still deciding when they hear that, so they don't know what to do. Okay, so speak your answers when audio stops. Then you can. Yes, correct answer is D. Solve problems independently. Please listen to it again. Some of you are confused about it. Alexi is a volunteer with a family that faces a number of difficulties. By calmly talking over possible solutions with family members, he's helping them to realise that they aren't helpless, and that they can do something themselves to improve their situation. Okay. This has been great for their self-esteem. All right. Last one is Juba. So let's see what do they say about Juba. And the last volunteer I'll mention, though there are plenty more, is Juba. She volunteers with a teenage girl with learning difficulties who wasn't very good at talking to other people. Juba's worked very patiently with her, and now the girl is far better at expressing herself and at understanding other people. Expressing, talking, understanding, improve their communication skills. All good. Now you understand how to do it. Okay, guys. Now we have section two. और सेक्शन टू में आ गया मल्टीपल चॉइस और ये मल्टीपल चॉइस कहीं भी आ सकता है ठीक है पार्ट वन में भी आ सकता है टू में भी थ्री में भी फोर में भी आ सकता है घबराना नहीं कि पार्ट वन में मल्टीपल चॉइस क्यों आ गया पार्ट फोर में क्यों आ गया इट्स इट कैन बी एनी वेयर राइट यू गॉट टू बी रेडी अब देखिए क्योंकि पार्ट टू में आया तो ऑप्शन भी शॉर्ट है सिंपल है पार्ट वन में आएगा तो इससे भी आसान होगा ऑप्शन क्या होगा ए टेन ओ क्लॉक बी एलेवन ओ क्लॉक थ्री सी like whatever the time is right so uh you just have to see in part 1 it's going to be very very simple to the point in part 3 it can be a little complicated main part 1 uh, 3 mein jo hai wo complicated hoga acha ji improvements to red hill suburb ab red hill ho sakta hai ilake ka naam ho suburb kehte hain girdo nawa ka area ab jaise ye royal palm hai na ye iske suburbs hai matlab jo girdo girdo nawa ka area lahor ke suburbs जैसे यहां पे जाएं तो शादरा अब तो खैर पार्ट ऑफ लाहौर बन गया है मुरीद के दीज आर सबर्बन एरियाज इनको हम सबर्बन एरियाज कहते हैं तो इंप्रूवमेंट्स टू रेड हिल सबर्ब अब इमेजिन करें रेड हिल एक टाउन है या सिटी है उसके जो इर्द गिर्द के एरिया उनको इंप्रूव कर रहे हैं इलेवन कम्युनिटी ग्रुप्स आर मेनली कंसर्न अबाउट अब ये जो मल्टीपल चॉइस है ना इसकी एक लैंग्वेज है अगर उस लैंग्वेज को आपने सीख लिया समझ लिया कि ये क्या चाह रहे हैं यहां पे जरा देखिएगा कम्युनिटी ग्रुप्स इसको अंडरलाइन करें आर मेनली कंसर्न अब प्रॉपर जो वर्ड है ना वो है आपका मेनली कंसर्न होगा क्या वो आपको उनका एक माइनर कंसर्न बताएंगे आपको लगेगा ये राइट right आंसर है फिर आपको एक और उनका बताएंगे कि एक और माइनर कंसर्न या कुछ लोगों का ये कंसर्न है फिर बताएंगे द मेजोरिटी ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली कंसर्न अबाउट दैट विल बी दंसर ठीक हो गया तो ये जो वर्ड है मेनली कंसर्न अब उसके बाद देखिए पेडेस्ट्रियन सेफ्टी क्या मतलब है जो लोग पैदल चलते हैं उनकी सेफ्टी बी है ट्रैफिक जैम्स और सी है इंक्रीज पोल्यूशन अब देखना ये कंसर्न वो तीनों के ही होंगे बट मेनली किस चीज के बारे में वो कंसर्न है किस चीज को इंप्रूव करना है सो प्लीज लिसन एंड देन डिसाइड और ये तीनों ऑप्शन डिस्कस होंगे किसी भी ऑर्डर में हो सकते हैं ए बी सी हो सकता है सी बी ए हो सकता है बी ए सी हो सकता है किसी भी ऑर्डर में राइट लेट्स स्टार्ट 
You will hear a man being interviewed on local radio about a plan to improve a suburb called Red Hill. Good morning, and welcome again to your city today. With me today is Graham Campbell, a councillor from the city council. He'll be telling us about the plan to improve the fast-growing suburb of Red Hill. Good morning, Graham, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Carol. Now, Graham. I understand that there has been a lot of community consultation for the new plan. Yes, we've tried to address some of the concerns that local groups told us about. People we've heard from are mainly worried about traffic in the area, and in particular the increasing speed of cars near schools. They feel that it's only a matter of time before there's an accident as a lot of children walk to the school. So, we're trying to do something about that. Yeah. It's a pedestrian safety. Well done. I'm going to play it again. Please listen and then see. You will hear a man being interviewed on local radio about a plan to improve a suburb called Red Hill. Good morning and welcome again to your city today. With me today is Graham Campbell, a councillor from the city council. He'll be telling us about the plan to improve the fast-growing suburb of Red Hill. Good morning, Graham, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Carol. Now, Graham, I understand that there has been a lot of community consultation for the new plan. Yes, we've tried to address some of the concerns that local groups told us about. People we've heard from are mainly worried about traffic in the area, and、uh, people we heard they are mainly worried about traffic in the area. Listen, listen, they did not mention traffic jams. Now, listen, traffic in what regard? Traffic for pollution. Traffic for pedestrians, traffic for jams. So from traffic, don't estimate that it's traffic jam. And in particular, the increasing speed of cars near schools. They feel that it's only a matter of time before there's an accident as a lot of children walk to the school. A lot of children walk to the school. So traffic, then speed of traffic. A lot of children walk to school. So the answer is A. Pedestrian safety. Children walk to school means children are pedestrians, and for their safety, they are concerned about it. Okay, so you should not just see one word. See how that word is there. Twelve. It has been decided that the overhead power lines will be now. Overhead power lines are like、uh, electricity power lines. Can you see those electricity pylons? वो बाहर की तरफ जो खंबे लगे हुए. Those lines इधर इस तरफ बाहर वो खंबे नहीं लगे हुए तारों वाले. Yeah. So、uh, that is what they call power lines. It has been decided that the overhead power lines will be. अब वो जो ऊपर से बिजली की तारें गुजर रही हैं उसको क्या करेंगे? ठीक है तीन options हैं A extended उसको आगे बढ़ा देंगे B buried जमीन में underground कर देंगे तारें जो ऊपर से गुजर रही हैं उसको underground कर देंगे C repaired उसको repair करेंगे अब देखते हैं कि जो ऊपर से overhead lines जा रही हैं उसका क्या करेंगे? Question number twelve. Another area of concern is the overhead power lines. These are very old, and a lot of people we spoke to asked if something could be done about them. Well, I'm happy to report that the power company have agreed to move the power lines underground at a cost of eight hundred thousand dollars. I think that will really improve the look of the area, as well as being safer.、Mm, that's good to know. So. Buried. For buried, they use the word underground. लिख लें बल्कि यहाँ पे buried के साथ लिख लें underground. ठीक है? तारें जो हैं वो ज़मीन में दबा देंगे. यानी underground wiring हो जाएगी. Clear हो गया? चलें. मैं ये audio दोबारा चला रहा हूँ. Another area of concern is the overhead power lines. These are very old, and a lot of people we spoke to asked if something could be done about them. Well, I'm happy to report that the power company. Have agreed to move the power lines underground at a cost of eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that will really improve the look of the area, as well as being safer.、Mm, that's good to know. Okay, question number thirteen. Expenses related to power lines will be paid for by. यानी जो underground कर रहे हैं wiring, तारों को नीचे लेके जाए उसका खर्चा कौन देगा? Simple, very very simple. ए अच्छा ये जो आ, आपके जो मल्टीपल चॉइस ये आइल्स लिस्निंग और रीडिंग में ना एक ऐसी आदत बना लें कि आपने आर्टिकल नहीं पढ़ना आर्टिकल होता है आ एन द सम बास्कत क्या होता है मल्टीपल चॉइस के ये तो पार्ट वन टू में आ गया ना पार्ट थ्री में क्या होता है उन्होंने तीन चार आर्टिकल्स लगाए होते हैं 
अ डैश ऑफ द डैश ऑफ द द द द तीन चार पांच वर्ड्स तो वही उसको ना लंबा करने के लिए ताकि पढ़ने में टाइम ज्यादा लगे आपने उन ऑप्शंस में फोकस करना है सिर्फ तीन वर्ड्स पे एक हो गया नाउन एक हो गया वर्ब एक हो गया एडजेक्टिव उसी से आपको समझ आ जाएगी कि ये बात क्या कर रहे हैं बजाय इसके क्या ऑप्शन ए आगे सारा पढ़ रहे हैं फिर बी फिर सी फोकस करें सिर्फ आप नाउन वर्ब एडजेक्टिव पे और अगर आपका ऑप्शन वर्ब से स्टार्ट हो रहा है तो फिर आप मेनली वर्ब पे फोकस करें अच्छा जी देखते हैं काउंसिल पावर कंपनी लोकल बिजनेसेस अब तार अंदर डालने के पैसे किसने देने हैं काउंसिल ने देने काउंसिल वही हो रहा कमेटी ठीक है कमेटी वो नहीं जो खाला के घर डालते हैं कमेटी दूसरी ये पावर कंपनी देगी पावर कंपनी हमारी होगी लेस्को ठीक है लोकल बिजनेस जो अंजुमन ताजरान है वो देंगे देखते हैं अब ये कौन देता है क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन बट विल दैट मेन एन इंक्रीज इन राइट्स फॉर द लोकल बिजनेसेस इन दैट एरिया वेल द पावर कंपनी हैव अग्रीड टू बेयर द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस देमसेल्व्स आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन विद द काउंसिल दिस इज वंडरफुल न्यूज़ एज़ द काउंसिल नाउ हैज सम एक्स्ट्रा फंड्स फॉर अस टू पुट इन टू अदर थिंग्स लाइक ट्री प्लांटिंग एंड आर्ट वर्क power company well done very good okay guys now let's move on we've got a map questions 14 to 20 label the map below write the correct letter a to h ab zara sun le map ke liye kya karna hai pehli baat to ye hai ki jab bhi map mile questions nahi padhne questions tab padhne jab audio start hogi ye wala hath index finger questions pe jayegi ye jo hai जहां पे मैप चल रहा है वहां पे होगा पेंसिल वाला हाथ जिससे आप लिखते हैं ठीक है अच्छा आप लोगों ने क्वेश्चंस पढ़ने की बजाय आप लोगों ने मैप पढ़ना है सबसे पहले देखना है उसका टाइटल क्या है टाइटल क्या है यहां पे रेड हिल इंप्रूवमेंट प्लान उसी से रिलेटेड है वही रेड हिल इंप्रूवमेंट प्लान आ गया ठीक हो गया अच्छा अब मैप पे सबसे पहले देखना है रोड के नाम सबसे पहले देखें हिल रोड हिल स्ट्रीट नजर आ गया हिल स्ट्रीट को अंडरलाइन कर लें और हिल स्ट्रीट आगे मिल रही है आ, एवलिन स्ट्रीट पे एवलिन स्ट्रीट को अंडरलाइन कर लें डेज रोड को अंडरलाइन कर लें थॉमस स्ट्रीट को अंडरलाइन कर लें और कैरबरी स्ट्रीट को अंडरलाइन कर लें अब सबसे पहले आपने देखना है अगर वो ऑडियो में बोलते हैं कैरबरी स्ट्रीट इधर आ जाना है अगर वो बोलते हैं हिल स्ट्रीट एट द जंक्शन ऑफ डेज रोड तो क्या बन रहा है एफ हिल स्ट्रीट एट द जंक्शन ऑफ डेज रोड मतलब ये कि जहां पे हिल स्ट्रीट और डेज रोड मिल रहे हैं उसकी बात हो रही है ठीक है उसके बाद अगर वो बोलते हैं फ्रॉम डेज रोड इफ यू एंटर थॉमस स्ट्रीट यू विल फाइंड इट देयर क्या होगा जी होगा ये सारी चीजें देखनी है ठीक है तो मैप में क्वेश्चन अब अगर आपने क्वेश्चंस पढ़े ना तो जरा सुने क्या होगा ट्रीज वाइडर फुटपाथ कलर्ड रोड सरफेस न्यू साइन को पल्ले पड़ रहे हैं ये तो ये सारी चीजें ये ऑडियो में बोलेंगे वन बाय वन बोलेंगे तो मैप को केयरफुली पढ़ लेना बास का इतना मैप के साथ आपको ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ दिया होगा ओके okay. अच्छा इन दैट केस क्या करने जब ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ दिया हो तो पेपर पे ही ना बड़ा बड़ा लिख लेना ऊपर नॉर्थ अगर ऊपर नॉर्थ है इधर साउथ है एन डब्ल्यू ई एस वो बड़ा बड़ा लिख लेना ताकि बास का पता क्या होगा वो यूज करेंगे ऑन द राइट पे अगर साउथ है लेफ्ट पे नॉर्थ है जो भी है वो वर्ड यूज करेंगे अच्छा अगर नहीं दिया हुआ तो फिर वो मैप पे एक और चीज करते हैं वो यूज करते हैं लेफ्ट एंड राइट और याद रखिएगा लेफ्ट एंड राइट मैप का वही है जो मैप आपके सामने है उसका जो राइट है उसका जो लेफ्ट है मतलब उसमें ये नहीं करना कि अच्छा अगर मैं ऐसे घूम के देखूं तो मैं इधर खड़ा हुआ एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है अब ये जो आपका मैप है ना ऑप्शन सी को देखें ऑप्शन सी जो है वो राइट साइड पे है ठीक है ऑप्शन ए जो है वो टॉप पे है और वो ये भी वर्ड यूज करते हैं ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द मैप एट द टॉप ऑफ द मैप ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ई आ गया आपका लेफ्ट पे और डी जो है वो तकरीबन बॉटम पे है ठीक है तो बॉटम टॉप लेफ्ट एंड ऑल दैट फिर एक और चीज है कॉर्नर का वर्ड यूज करते हैं अगर आपको उन्होंने डायरेक्शन दिए ना ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ साउथ वेस्ट कॉर्नर जहां पर साउथ और वेस्ट मिल रहे हैं उसका जो कॉर्नर बनता है वो ठीक है ये कुछ मतलब जब आप करेंगे ना आठ दस मैप्स कर लेंगे ये वोकेबलरी ये चीजें आपको क्लियर हो जाएंगी इसके बाद है हमारे पास प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ लोकेशन ठीक है प्रेपोजिशन ऑफ लोकेशन में क्या होगा इन द कॉर्नर नेक्स्ट टू इट बिहाइंड राइट देयर राइट नेक्स्ट टू इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ ये सारी प्रेपोजिशन है इसके लिए एक हैंड आउट है जैसे वो शेयर कर दीजिएगा प्रेपोजिशन का ग्रुप में शेयर कर दीजिएगा लेट सी वेयर द ट्रीज आर अब अच्छा आपको ऐसे नहीं नजर आएंगे दरख्त बने हुए आपके यहां दरख्त यहां पे हैं ठीक है अब आंसर क्या होगा ए 
B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Exactly. So let's take a start. Question number 14. Another area of... Now, we've also put together a map which we sent out to all the residents in the area. And on the map we've marked the proposed changes. Firstly, we'll plant mature pine trees to provide shelter and shade just to the right of the supermarket in Day's Road. Just to the right of the supermarket on Day's Road. Supermarket is not clear. It is not clear. Actually, exam is not clear. Okay, supermarket, right of supermarket, Day's Road. Option? Okay, what is it? और ये अच्छा ये जो ऑडियो चल रही है ना आपने एक चीज नोटिस की होगी कुछ स्पीकर्स जो हैं वो बड़ा क्लियरली बोलते हैं बात करते हैं इट्स ऑन द राइट ऑफ द सुपरमार्केट ऑन डेज रोड इट्स ऑन द राइट ऑफ द सुपरमार्केट ऑन डेज रोड ठीक है ये इस तरह का कोई भी आ सकता है ये yeah? सो so, उसके लिए भी तैयार रहिएगा कुछ लोग क्लियरली बोलते हैं कुछ लोग मुंह के अंदर बोलते हैं कोई एक ऐसा करैक्टर ना कहीं ना कहीं उन्होंने डाला होता है बट एनीवेज इट्स गोइंग टू बी फाइन ओके 14 का आंसर हो गया हमारा सी इसकी ऑडियो मैं आपके साथ शेयर करूंगा आप लोगों ने इसको पूरे टेस्ट को घर जाके दोबारा हैंड्स फ्री के साथ रिपीट करना है ठीक है फिफ्टीन वाइडर फुटपाथ्स अब कहां पे वो फुटपाथ को चौड़ा करने लगे हैं वाइडर फुटपाथ्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इन ऑर्डर टू एड्रेस द ट्रैफिक प्रॉब्लम द पेमेंट ऑन द कॉर्नर ऑफ कारबरी एंड थॉमस स्ट्रीट विल बी वाइडेंड हेल्प टू रिड्यूस द स्पीड ऑफ व्हीकल कॉर्नर ऑफ कारबरी एंड थॉमस स्ट्रीट Yes, corner of Carberry and Thomas Street. That is option D. अब समझ आ गया corner का word भी ठीक हो गया. Very good. आगे चलते हैं. Question number sixteen. Colored road surface. Road के ऊपर रंग कर देंगे. बस कल आपने देखा होगा yellow रंग किया होता है या कुछ और. Bus stop पे भी उन्होंने रंग किया होता है. Colored road surface. अब ये कहाँ पे होगा? Question number sixteen. We think it's very important to separate the local residential streets from the main road. So. The roadway at the entrance to Thomas Street from Day's Road will be painted red. Thomas this Street from Day's Road will be painted red. And act as a signal for traffic. Red. कहाँ पे है? G. समझ आ रहे? ठीक है? इसको जाके repeat ज़रूर करना है. और फिर पता है क्या? जब repeat करना है ना इन words पे focus करना है. फिर देखना ये चीज़ कहाँ पे है? फिर अंदर से खुश भी होना है कि हाँ मुझे answer मिल रहा है, मुझे पता चल रहा है. Right? साथ जैसे नहीं गाना सुन रहे होते ह तो आपने आयर्स को ही सुनते हुए ना एंजॉय भी करना है ठीक है हाँ डांस नहीं करना सिर्फ हल्का फुल्का एंजॉय हाँ आप नहीं बोल रहे <laughs> आपने आगाज अच्छा हमारा करवा दिया ना आज यासीन साहब तो बाहर बैठे हुए हैं वरना फिर जो है ना वो हम उनसे बात कर लेते ओके <laughs> अच्छा जी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन न्यू साइन उन्होंने एक साइन बोर्ड लगाना है नो पार्किंग का हो गया किसी भी चीज का ये कहाँ पे लगेगा किस कोने में किस नुक्कर पे लगेगा क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन one way of making sure that the pedestrians are safe is to increase signage at the intersections. A keep clear sign will be erected at the junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street to enable traffic to exit junction at all times. Junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street. Ek hi junction ban rahe. That is option B. Theek ho gaya junction of Evelyn Street and Hill Street. Junction ka kya matlab hai? Jahan pe do sadke aapas mein milti hain. Theek hai? Exactly. So new sign ka answer ho jayega B. क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 पे आ जाएं ट्रैफिक लाइट्स अब इशारे कहां पे लगाने हैं ठीक है ये इशारे वो नहीं है जो एक इंडिया के गाने में है तोबा तुम्हारे ये इशारे ठीक है ये इशारे हैं ट्रैफिक वाले जो लाइट होती है वो इशारे सो लेट्स सी वेर आर दे गोइंग टू डू इट मतलब किसी इशारे जो लगाएंगे किसी चौराहे पर ही लगाएंगे ना और तो कहीं नहीं लगा सकते एग्जैक्टली समथिंग वेर प्लानिंग टू डू टू हेल्प कंट्रोल द फ्लो ऑफ ट्रैफिक इन द एरिया is to install traffic lights halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. Wow, halfway down Hill Street where it crosses Day's Road. F, exactly. And samjhe bhi saath. Halfway down Hill Street. Ke Hill Street ke darmiyan mein. Where it crosses Day's Road. Siddha ho gaya ka. Chalein ji. Aage chalte hai. Question number 19. Artwork. Ab dekhna ye hai ke artwork jo hai wo kaha pe hooga. Aapne aksar dekha hooga. Ye gulberg ke area mein bhi. Diwar ke upar nahi badi khubsurat painting banai hui. Diwar ko pura decorate kiya hooga. Kisi diwar ke upar tasweerhe banai hui. Kaid Yazan Rehmatullah Lai ki ya Ilama Iqbal ki. Isko kehte hai artwork. Ab ye artwork kaha pe karenge? Let's see that. Number 19. Now, we haven't only thought about the cars and traffic of course. There's also something for the children. We're going to get school children in the area to research a local story. The... 
life of a local sports hero, perhaps. And an artist will incorporate that story into paintings on the wall of a building on the other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. Other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. A, exactly. Other side of Hill Street from the supermarket. Either supermarket hogi, other side pe aapke uh, A aa gaya option. Artwork A is the answer. Or she bola painting on the wall or A jo hai wo wall ke upar hi laga hua hai, right? Okay, question number 20. Children's playground. Now let's see where children's playground is. And finally, we've agreed to build a new children's playground which will be at the other end of Hill Street, close to the intersection with Carberry Street. Wonderful. All right. Other end of Hill Street and intersection with Carberry Street, that is option E. Now, these words, these phrases, in in ko prepositions, ko achhe se dekhne, aur agar aap 8-10 maps kar lete hain, uske baad yehi cheeze baar baar repeat hongi. Nya kuch nahi hai. Yehi cheeze hain sari, right? Challenge. 